the doors have been smashed open as far, certainly as far as writers have always been concerned. And I think directors now, I read a review recently on, on the woman who did uh, uh, the, the Jay McInerney is a, a book, the one that, you know. Yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Yes, and it said uh, only a woman could have approached uh, a subject like this the way she did. I mean, it was just like a fascinating kind of shock to me because it's, it's a movie you really want to stay away from. It's a murderer, you mm -hmm. know, a murderer with no heart. And it was just so interesting to me that they, they, would, say, they would say that. And of course, there are so many, you know, remarkable women directors now. And, you know, f for years, uh, you know, five years when I started directing, I'd go back to Hollywood and get absolutely nowhere, you know. Can you be the captain of the ship? Can you do this? And, and now it's accepted that the talents are equal. Um, it's in the acting area. It's in the area for... Um, women particularly, but men also, the ageism, the fact that when women get over 35, really, 35, that they're discarded very quickly. And I think that's the difference between our entertainment entity and places like London or, or Italy or, or France, where uh, the people are loyal to their actors, Marcello Mastrani, you know, always in each, in each emergence of him as a different age, he was beloved and, and, and used in that age. And respected. And respected, and he didn't have to have his face done. The more furrows he had, the more beautiful he was.